Hey hello there and welcome back to my computer and today I'm playing around with this the truncated Echosahedron as I have not done any Archimedean solids for a while I have four left and this is one you see quite often yeah first of all as a soccer ball of course a football or soccer ball when you call it uh, because this is an easy way it's hexagons and pentagon and uh, you can do these and make a quite close to sphere um, if, you, if you do it with soft materials and that's for the base of a soccer ball. So this is a truncated icosahedron. Here is the icosahedron and truncated means you cut off the pointy parts, the vertexes. And we should move that one. And we are going to do this today. And I'm going to do, I think I'm going to talk about two different dimensions. The base dimension I will do is from pentagon to pentagon, flat side to flat side from pentagon, not the hexagon. I have not solved that, so we are going to do for the pentagons. And we're going to start a new sketch. For you who are interested, I will put a video somewhere with my uh, I do Vacosahedron. I basically just start the same. We start with a polygon. Of course, five sides. The pentagon. We make it sure it's horizontal. And we do start with a circle from up here. So this circle has the same radius as the side. And we're going to do a line from here to here now. It's well, just do that. This is basically all I need to do to turn around and do the icosahedron and so forth. But I want to do the dimensions. I need to do that in the first sketch. So we're going to do that. We are going to not do two lines. Fusion, I don't like when you do that. We're going to do a line from here up to here. Make sure that this point I just created here is horizontal to the center point and we do a line from the midpoint of this line we're going to do it out here somewhere make these two lines perpendicular and then this point here horizontal to that from that point to that point that's the half height of the normal icosahedron but now we're going to truncate it so we need to do a bit of a special thing we need to divide this length into three parts so we're going to do three lines we're going to choose all these three lines, at least we can do that. Uh, I don't want to do like that, I want to just choose the lines, I need to zoom in a bit. Where are your lines? One, two, three lines, and tell Fusion to make them equal. Split them by three. And now we're going to dimension. From this point, this is going to be the center point later, and we are looking for that point. This is half the height from pentagon to pentagon, and I want to do it uh, a total of 75 millimeters. So we divide it by two, as is half. And yeah, that's one good. What we need, we can move that out a bit out of the way. And I'm going to finish sketch. I'm going to go back to talk about the dimensions later, and we're going to create a second sketch on this plane. We're going to do some intersections. Or you can project also. I need this point. I need geometry, not bodies. I want the center point and where this circuit goes through. And I like using circles. We are doing a circle from this here out to here. So this is just representation of the first circle. And this circle has the same radius as the side. So we can do a line from here up to here. You see, I'm always doing the same thing again. This line now here is where the edge is going to be out here. We could do a line from midpoint here. We need this point when we are doing the lofts. And that is going to be horizontal to that. And it's going to be perpendicular here. And now we are doing the important thing. We need to know where we're going to do the truncation, the cutting of the solids. We're going to do one, two, and three lines, and once again we're gonna make these three lines equal. And for safety measures, I'm gonna put in a point up here. So this is two thirds up, one third for the top. And with that, we should be finished. Have I forgotten something? No, that feels good. And, and now we're gonna start by doing the basis for the icosahedron. We're gonna do a loft center point to the profile we're going to do a second loft from the profile up to top like that 
but this is the base for a cosahedron. You seen earlier when we spin it around, make a cosahedron. But now we're gonna cut it off. We we're gonna do a, a after plane. We're gonna choose the plane we have in here, which is the x y plane. Distance to object. We're gonna use only the point, which are two thirds up. Two thirds up here is the same as two thirds up any edge or anything like that. So we're gonna do it like that. We're gonna create a sketch. And we're going to do intersection again. This time we're going to choose selection filter bodies and choose the whole body. And OK. And for convenience we're going to turn off the body for a short while here when we finish the sketch. And we have a lot of sketches. So let's remove... We can move all of them. No, not the last one of course. Hey, <laughs> sorry. We're going to extrude this part here. How far are we going to extrude it? Turn on the body again. Distance to object to the vertex, and I'm going to do this as a new body. We have a bunch of different ways you can do this. This is where I'm going to do it like that. And now, the thing is, we need to get this body around all of our edges, so we're going to turn on our second sketch. We're going to create a plane at an angle. We're going to use this line here. This, this is the midline between this point, so we're going to create a plane here so we can do a mirror and we check it. Yep. That's the right direction. We're not moving it around. We are going to do a mirror. We're going to mirror bodies. Yes, this body. And the mirror plane is this plane we just created. And now I'm going to turn off my plane. So now we have it there. We're going to do a circular pattern because we needed to move around to over five points. We're going to take that one. The axle is anything through the center line here. And we need five of that. And we're going to turn off the sketches again, because they're a bit confusing. So now it looks really strange. Now we're going to do a combine. Uh, target body is, of course, the center body. And the tool bodies are all the other bodies. We are going to do a cut like that. And now we're going to do basically the same thing we did when we did the idea of a cosahedron. We are going to do a circular pattern. Bodies, yes, sorry, bodies, one body, that body, the axe, any line that goes to the center point. So I'm going to choose this edge here, any edge that goes down the center point. Five times, because it has five sides. Uh, looks a bit messy, and we are missing one part. So we're going to do a mirror. The body we're going to choose is this one. Mirror plane against itself here, so we get it over like that. Now we have something, it looks a bit strange because we have too many bodies, we're going to combine. That is our target body and the rest is our tool. Of course we made a cut earlier so we have to change it to join. And by doing that we have created a cosahedron, pentagon, hexagon. So let's make a check it. We take two edges, 16.112, uh, yes we're the same length. That's one rule for this, that the all edges have the same length, that's good. We can also check that from any any side to any other side. Yeah, 75 millimeters like I wanted it. Uh, that's one way to dimension it. And for you, for some reason, want to dimension it by the length of the side here. It's quite easy too. Let's go back to our first sketch. We are going to remove that dimension. And we're going to dimension one of the sides here. But. Uh, the thing is, uh, the side in the final body is one third of this, so if the final body is going to be, let's say, 23 millimeters, 23, we need to multiply it by 3. So it's going to 69, we're going to finish our sketch, and we can check now. I want it to be 23, and the edge is 23 millimeters. So, of course, now you can do shell commands. Uh, let's see where no people normally do it. They do it here, like that, one millimeter. You can do shell like that, or you can do offset faces or play around with this for whatever reason you want to do. And I hope this is useful for you. And by that, take care and see you around.